Hello, Lancaster Catholic. This is Mr. Mamert, Director of Campus Ministry uh, at Lancaster Catholic High School. Um, here today with the next episode of our Campus Ministry podcast. One of the things I wanted to chat with you today is uh, uh, related to what Ms. Sobalski uh, talked about last week in last week's episode, where she talked about uh, taking your faith into your own hands and giving God a try. Um, and I was listening to her speak about that and her experience of uh, starting to go to daily mass or in college. And, um, and I thought, what is it that keeps many of us from taking that next step? And, and really what occurred to me is fear. You know, fear isn't a bad thing sometimes. Uh, and actually fear of the Lord is, uh, is a good thing. It's a good place to start. Uh, but fear is a human uh, condition that in some ways, in small ways, can kind of help us out. Um, I used to live out west uh, in the Rocky Mountains, in Denver and in Utah, and often found myself in bear country. You know, so when you're when you're hiking in grizzly bear country, you, you, a little healthy fear is not a bad thing. You want to take some precautions um, uh, so that you know the bear doesn't eat your face off. So, but that fear, if it would grow too much, would be so great that you would never go out and experience the outdoors or you'd be stuck in your cabin terrified that a bear might come and attack you. So fear in small amounts can be a motivator certainly to prepare um, and as we hear in, in Lent, um, preparing for Easter, a little bit of fear of maybe my life isn't as ordered as it need to be to reach my goal of getting to heaven. But fear in excessive amounts can keep us from change. Um, Jesus talks to Faustina, uh, who gave us a divine mercy, a chaplain in divine mercy, that fear comes from a lack of trust. We get very comfortable in our lives, even some of us whose lives may be far from perfect and we're engaged in uh, sin and other activities that uh, that are detrimental to us, but we're comfortable with it because we're kind of used to it. And we're afraid that if we try to move away, we're either gonna fail, or some of the things we're engaged in seem like they're kind of fun sometimes, but then not really. You know, let's go back to the garden in the beginning with Adam and Eve. The motivating factor here most likely was fear. Um, God said, hey, I, I give you this in giant paradise, but stay away from the tree over there, you know? And, and the devil came and said, I, you know, put this idea in their head that, that God's keeping something. But they, Adam and Eve was then afraid that they were gonna miss out on something. They, they feared some loss of something, even though they were in paradise. And when they acted upon that, they lost and they broke the relationship with God. So fear it can, can cause us to create damage in our relationships with each other and, and with, with God. Um, and that fear of change, even when our lives need work. Um, you know, we, if I go to Mass, uh, if I start going to Mass, what will my friends say about me? You know, will my friends make fun of me? There's a fear in that. You know, that thing that kind of, I, you know, I go out on the weekends and I'm all excited on a Friday night to go to a party. And I know after the party, when I get home, it's a real left down and I don't feel fulfilled. It's, it wasn't the big exciting thing. So we're afraid to move forward and make change because we're afraid of what's gonna happen. Are we gonna lose something? Are we gonna actually have to change something in our lives that while it's not good for us, we kind of like? You know, God loves us and wants more for us than even what we want for ourselves. He loves us perfectly and he sees our brokenness and he sees the place where we could be if we would just trust and not be afraid to make some changes. Change is hard. Don't let fear get in your way of having a better relationship with God. What God is calling you to, you can achieve. And while you take matters into your own hands, and I'm gonna give kudos to Ms. Sabalski there, the reality is we don't do it with our own power. God himself will grant us the graces to overcome the challenges and to overcome the fear we have and walk with Jesus more perfectly in our daily lives. So don't be afraid, get out there, examine your lives, use this time of Lent to figure out what needs to change.
what's good and what's maybe not so good. Come get some help if you need some help. Talk to Father Rena. Talk to myself, Ms. Sabalski. Talk to your parish priest or your pastor. Get some help to understand the changes you need to make to live as saints. And don't be afraid to live as saints. Don't worry about the world has to say about you. God bless you all. We'll see you next week. This is Mr. Bammer, Director of Campus Ministry, with this week's episode of the Campus Ministry Podcast.